Third time trying, I do not even third, fourth, because God, this intro has been really messed up. Hello, I'm Starbite, and welcome to my world. Woo, and you know what the time runs it is? Not your period. It is a... Mumpy favorite! Whaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
National Citizen Service 2016. Okay, I'm really sure 100% that. Um, I did not do that much to my country, but if you think I am, yay! The next favourite is actually a shampoo and conditioner. As you know, I am blonde on top, so I had to get a shampoo and conditioner. This is the Garnier, 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 Garnier Ultimate Blend Shampoo. I mean, I also got the conditioner, but the conditioner is actually broken. The Blonde Eliminator. <laughs> Caramelline and acai honey. Ooh, it illuminates and softens hair. And oh my god, does this thing work? It is so nice. It smells so good. You can tell this right now. That's how great it is. And it honestly makes my blonde feel really soft because I found that once I started washing my hair with a blonde product, it started to not really work. Like it started to be like harder to like wash with, and it became rough. If that's the best way, so this is definitely a good product. If you're gonna go blonde, even if it's like this kind of dyed blonde with a natural blonde. Good product. The next favorite is my textile project, and I'm not gonna actually tell you anything about this because I'm gonna do another aesthetic on this once it's done and literally play like Taylor Swift Red in the background because that was like one of the best autumnal albums like ever. But as you can tell, I'm doing the color red, so wah. It has been so much fun working with the color red because it's actually one of my favorite colors and yet many people don't know this or I don't really use it as much because I mostly use pink and purple so it's really nice to be refreshing and using red. Got an Instagram favorite now. At the moment of Instagram, like on YouTube slightly as well, uh, I've been really liking these types of Instagrams where they've like done many like things for like YouTubers and stuff like that and I absolutely love them. I will literally show you examples. I don't know what these edits are called but they're freaking amazing. Da 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 I swear are so nice and so pretty and I absolutely love them and honestly on YouTube my favourite ones are like I think it's like stickers and dangerous woman with like an X or something like that. So good. And then on my favourite on Instagram is Riptide Multi. So if you're watching this, any of you guys, hi, you guys are great. I will honestly link you guys down below because they're so good. I actually tried to attempt to make one and I do have to say it was a bit messy. Um, I tried to do the thing where you kind of like mix it with like different people as well. Like that's the first I've never seen. So, yeah. I'm gonna try to do another attempt on Instagram. So if you're following me on Instagram, which is down below. You should 100% check that out. Another YouTube favorite that I have been loving is Nikki Tutorials. If you don't know who she is, which I'm pretty sure you guys do know who she is, she is like a freaking amazing makeup artist who does so many great looks. I'm just like, sit here and watch her tutorials. I'm like, I wish I could do makeup like that. She's so good. I, and she's also so funny. I love her attitude on like so many things. Like I've watched all her challenges. She's hilarious. I just love her to death. And I think she's such a good YouTuber. If you're very much into the beauty and like beauty department, which I'm trying to get into, you know. I think probably because of fashion and beauty, it's like marriage. Marriage right there. Marriage. You're very, very, very much going to love her to death. And to music favourites. So, the first music favourite I'm actually going to say is Shawn Mendes' album, which you guys already know I've already filmed. So if you haven't even watched my reaction to it, it's up there. But definitely 100% such an amazing album. Yeah, So good. I absolutely love it to death. It's just really, really good. And it's just so fun. I love it that so much. So yes, 100%. Another favourite is my autumn playlist. It's Jordan Fisher and Ariana Grande. But basically, I have included a lot of like songs that I've been loving this September. Like this autumn time, I basically make a new playlist every season. So if you want to go and get that playlist, I don't have my playlist in the description. I don't know how you do, but yeah. But 100%, I freaking love this playlist so much. So I think at the moment, there are a couple of songs which I really like. I really like The Great Divide, Becca Black, Crash Course Remix. So good. Perfect kind of YouTube video right there. But like the sit sit still look pretty remix by Riot.
then like I think recently there was a really good one by Ariana Grande now out and I freaking love it. It's Jason's song. You guys know I adore this woman. Final song for my playlist before I like go off on a tangent is Wired by Trace the Bond featuring Alicia Carr. Too long till I drown in your hands. Too long since I've been a fool. Leave this blue neighborhood. Never knew love could hurt this good. Oh, when it drives me wild. Factor. I'm really surprised because I didn't watch it for like two years or oh, actually did watch it But I didn't watch it last year and I'm going really back into it because I don't know Yeah, a is actually really good. The only thing I don't there's a couple of things I don't like about it though I think one of them is that they base it off these beauty standards like you look like Louis stupid quote You look like a pop star, you sing like a pop star, you are a pop star There's my really bad Irish accent. I hate that because looks don't matter if they have the voice like the voice huh? Boom. If they have the voice, then they should be able to get through, no matter what, if they can sing like freaking... If they can sing like Mariah Carey, or like Whitney Houston, then they should be able to get through. If they can freaking sing like Stevie Wonder, they should be able to get through, rather than if they look like Beyonce, but they can sing like rubbish. You know what I mean? Also, some of the judges make really stupid decisions, and you're just sitting there, and you're like, mm. I know, I kind of like it. You know, I kind of do like it. Kind of weird love-hate relationship with like Factor in the moment, so yeah. Do you hope you enjoyed this video? Because that was all my favorite. What? I didn't even know they were there. Boom, that's how much of a chat it felt. Boom, cha. Boom, cha. Boom, boom, cha, boom, boom, cha. This is me weird dancing right now because you know what? I am weird like them, whatever. Anyway, yes, and I'll tell you, but I am coming with you with some core cool, good videos. I am gonna prepare you for Halloween this year. I'm gonna create a hashtag. Hashtag. I don't know what the hashtag should be called though. Wing with Star? Stephaween? Stephaween. That sounds kind of cute. Oh, yeah. Hashtag Stephaween. Does that sound good? Please comment down below any names for my Halloween hashtag. So if I got Stephaween, if you like that, please just comment down below. Something I don't know. Just comment down below if you like it or not. I'm coming at you with some strong Halloween costumes this year. Last year, as you can tell, like my rubbish, like fire Halloween costumes, like when I thought they were like good. Now I'm just looking at them like. I reevaluate my whole entire life. This year, I'm coming with you with some strong ones, and I'm really hoping I can film one very soon. Yes. Also, I might include a couple of other full ones, like a full morning routine, because I'm really desperate to do one. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, share. You know what to do, and I will see you soon with a brand new video. Cheers, adios, goodbye.